All right, here's our phase one core and landing protocol. We're gonna start with our athletes on their back, their knees bent, feet shoulder width apart, toes facing forward, and we want their knees strong. So I don't wanna be able to move them around, nice and strong, good. They're gonna be, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have them tighten their core, but there's a couple things that we don't want them doing. We don't want them to move their hips backwards and we don't want their shoulders to round forward. Those are things that we don't want to happen. So she's gonna tighten her core, not letting those hips move, keeping the shoulders relaxed. And what we're gonna do at home to start off is we're gonna do three sets of three big deep breaths. So I'm even gonna poke right here while she takes some big deep breaths, just to make sure those muscles are firing the entire time. And you can see Leah is able to stay nice and flat in her, in her spine, keep that in a neutral position while she's tight and breathing. So she should be able to work up to where she can have a conversation with mom or dad about school or whatever she's doing at gym and be tight at the same time without rolling her, forward, her shoulder forward or her hips back. So that's the tight core exercise. Then we're gonna have her go on her hands and knees. Once again, we're gonna go knees shoulder width apart. We're gonna make sure those elbows are strong and not hyperextended. And we're gonna show you a couple positions here. We're gonna have her go up into a cat, cat stretch, so bring way up, good. So we don't want them doing this. This is tucking the hips under. And then go down into the dog stretch. We don't want them doing this either because this is that hyperlordosis we talk about in the book that's really dangerous for our gymnasts. We want her to come up just neutral, right in the center, right there. Perfect, now she's in a perfect position. And this is actually the position that we're gonna get them in in their squats as well. So I'm gonna put my hand right here on her lower back. I'm gonna have her tighten her core, but I don't want her moving my hand. So you can see she just moved my hand a little bit. So go ahead and relax. This time we're gonna tighten, don't move my hand. Good, perfect. Now she's tight in here and nice and flat in her spine. What we're gonna do is, this is a cross crawl, so we're gonna go her right arm, left leg. She's gonna bring it up nice and slow, just a little bit to about right there, and she's gonna hold for two gymnastics counts, and then she's gonna bring it down nice and slow. And you can see her body shaking side to side. That's really good, that means her core's responding, that's what we want. So go ahead, we're gonna go the right leg and the left arm this time, nice and slow. And she's starting to bring these hips and tilt her hips a little bit. So we want her to keep nice and flat in those hips and be tight in that core. Then she's gonna bring them back. And the goal is to get where she's able to bring her leg all the way out extended, her arm all the way out extended, with that back staying perfectly flat. That's what we're looking for in our gymnast. So that's our cross crawl. We're gonna do this for about 30 seconds each night. And just do as many as you can in that 30 seconds. That's great. Now we're gonna move over here. With Maya and we're gonna do our squats. So whenever we do a squat, we, the first thing that moves on a squat is our glutes, they move backwards. So it looks just like this on our squat. So we go down. Once we're down at the bottom, we're gonna make sure there's a straight line from our toes to our knees to our hips to our shoulders. All during the squat, we don't want our legs moving inside of that line or outside of that line. We want a nice, straight, strong line. Our knees should not be in front of our toes, and at the bottom, our hips should be about 90 degrees or our hips and our knees should be about 90 degrees. Then on the way up, we're gonna push up through our heels, squeeze our butt as much as we can, all right? So let's do it together. You watch me while we do this squat. So it's gonna be just like this. Good, nice and tight, chest up, tight core. Then we're gonna push up through our heels, squeeze our butt. Perfect. So let's show one more time right here. So tight, 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 back. You can see she's getting that really good 30 degree angle in her hips. That's what we have to have in order to protect our athletes and activate those glutes. She's gonna push up through her heels, squeeze her glutes as hard as she can, tight core. She's just a rock right here. And that's what we're looking for from our gymnast in a squat.